ladies and gentlemen of Bombs for Breakfast. It is October 8th. To every Canadian out there, happy Thanksgiving. To every Sitmon warrior, happy Carcass Day. And to my former rival, oh, happy, happy day. You know, I see you on Facebook that you got something to say. Well, I got something to say. October 20th marks a day for Bombs for Breakfast that they have said is trick or beating Crisis Core Edition. Whatever that means, to each their own. But there is a crisis. Because Victor Chan still has a debt to pay. Still has lots to answer for. Now, regardless of how everybody sees me, everyone has labeled me the Reaper of Bombs for Breakfast. And what a Reaper does is collect debts that have gone long past due. I said for a very long time, bucks will be given. So, long story short, seeing how there's a lot of end of eras, last time ever kind of ordeal. You and I, Victor, have been through everything. We've made each other ch tap finally. After how many years? <laughs> and there's one thing that you've always wanted out of me, and that was a wrestling match. Now, whether I played along or actually genuinely went into it, we never got our wrestling match. We've done everything in Bombs for Breakfast. We've even combined some of the best matches that we've seen in professional wrestling to date to put our bodies through. We are the hybrid innovators known as Bombs for Breakfast. And yes, I class we because after I beat you around this time, what was it, two, three, four years ago, to make you an active member of Bombs for Breakfast, just for you to drop out for a bit, come back when you felt like it? See, all these debts that you've accumulated over time, I'm the one that has actually stepped out of the crowd and it's going to start cashing them in. I had to make a point by looking at your family members. Yeah, the Battle Royal, I lost my title. You know what, Daniel Chand, you did not walk out the Battle Royal winning it either. But at the end of the night, you're the one holding my belt. And let me just say, and say it again, when I am done with this debt, I'm cashing in another one. Victor, you and I, we, we're banging our heads against the wall. You're saying that you're done with me. I'm saying I'm done with you, but you still have debts that you 
have to answer for. We're not 10 years old where our parents are answering for our misdeeds. It is time to take responsibility. It is time to own up. It is time to end it.